So in today's video, I thought I would take you along for some errands that I have to run and you will see how I kind of prep my van or get it clean after a, a long trip. And so come along for the ride. I have been home for a couple weeks and usually when I'm home I get to do all the kinds of maintenance things that you have to do with a van and so I just thought why not and I can talk about some other things as you kind of come along with me as I do different things. Uh, one of the things I need to do is vacuum the van and I also thought that I would kind of show you I'm going to switch up the curtains in the front cabin area or not the the front front ones but the ones that separate the cab from the back here because i'm <laughs> i made a mistake they i had tried to hem them and then they were kind of bulky at the bottom and then i just on a whim cut them but then because they are curtains that have a double layer because they're insulated and they're blackout curtains they are shredding all over on the bottom i tried several different things and they just it didn't work so i'm going to try to look for curtains that are a, a little less long then i have to get some supplies and things like that because i yeah i'm leaving in a couple days here again to a retreat that i'm uh, going to in sedona so yeah i just need to get things ready for that because that'll be another it might be actually a, a shorter than normal uh, time away, but I'm not, I'm not sure yet, actually. And I wanted to kind of update you about a few things, so you'll see that later on as well. So stick around to the end where I'm just going to talk uh, over some ideas with you. So let us try to vacuum this thing. A lot of times I go to a car wash for this. Uh, there's a place nearby that has a vacuum, a really powerful one. But I thought since I'm here at the house, I will just use my crummy vacuum cleaner and see what it does here. Actually, I think my vacuum is making more of a mess than my rug did, but I think I've got most of it now. These are the curtains that I'm changing out. I'll give you a glimpse here. See, rookie mistake here with these. I had hemmed them, but they were still too long and a little bit bulky because of the length. So then when I tried to go correct that, I, yeah, I, I did it when I was on the road and I used a pair of scissors that weren't really for sewing. So I will switch those out. So here, I just have to lift this off of the pole and bring these down this way and this too over here and I guess I can just take the whole thing off and voila that is it. Now you can see a little bit more clearly so I'll just take this down and uh, store it until I get my new curtains. But now hopefully you can see maybe a little bit better the mechanics. Let me get you closer here. This is the L bracket that holds this piece of plywood that runs all the way here. It is screwed along the way with these and also a few that are underneath here. I have then the this IKEA shelf with an L bracket here just attached to it so it's down pretty good. This is where the curtain rod is attached so it, on both sides it has these little brackets that just come out and they can extend out even longer if I wanted to but I, I have them out just a little bit so that they kind of go past the seat back and everything pretty nicely. It holds pretty, I mean like I, I've never had it move, I've never had an issue with it. So I have never really shown you this and it is where I store my solar panel. So this is a Jackery 100 watt solar panel that recharges my Jackery 500 that I have for power. I also have a 
Jackery 160 that I kind of intersperse them. I'll, I'll charge both of them while I'm driving. So then when I kind of run out of power on the one, I can switch to the other. I don't have a refrigerator. So that I think is where most people have a lot of drainage on their uh, power sources. Most of my lights are LED. It charges my phones, it charges my laptop, charges pretty much everything. And I have not had to use my solar panels yet, or panel, it's just one panel. What I also like about this, and I'm not sponsored by Jackery or anything, I'm just, I had heard about it in other people's videos and I really liked the idea of not having to have solar on my roof because I can park in the shade and I can have this out in the sun and then I kind of can stay cool that is the issue with having your solar on the roof is that you have to be in the blaring hot sun. So when I was thinking about it, I was like, you know, I would rather just kind of see, and, and again, my, my needs are not probably as great as some people who have a bigger refrigerator and other things that they're powering, like some people even power their stoves, uh, electric induction stoves and things like that. And I don't have any of that. So that was one decision I made for myself that seems to be working really, really well. Always be asking your questions like that of, of what do I need? What will work for me? And uh, this has worked really well for me. Something that I was getting questions about after my potty talk video uh, made me realize that when we were editing that, I had footage of what I did for number one and we had to cut all of that out because the video was getting too long. So I will show you very briefly. I, I do, do have very many things that I kind of use for that as well. And I have finally decided, I, I know a lot of you put in the, the comments that I could use a shiwi or a funnel or things like that. And I did, I, I tried all of those things at one time or another, but I have found that this, which again, it stores under my bench. I painted it, it's just a old, I don't know, peanut jar or something is what it used to have in it, it's plastic. But it screws, it has a good screw lid, which is very important, I have found. Don't wanna be spilling this all over the place. And all you do, and this was a suggestion, I think that uh, was in one of the comments or I saw in another video, all you have to do is put a little Dr. Bronner's soap, which I have in here, in it because this is biodegradable and it doesn't harm the environment, things like that. So you just put a, a little drop and you mix a little bit of water and swish it around and then you can have this as your, um, well, I can have it as my little pee bucket basically. And it works really well. Um, this way, what, what I found with the funnel is that I was constantly having to take the extra step to clean off the funnel. And this way I don't have to clean everything and just screw on the lid and dump it every morning or whenever I have to dump it. And it stays fresh because of the, the soap. It doesn't really smell like ammonia or anything like that. It doesn't mix with the other thing that I have. It doesn't mix with my potty. And so keeping it separate keeps the smell down. And then this can be just emptied constantly or, or whenever I need to. So that is what I use, all of you who were very curious about that aspect. And yeah. So I'm thinking, so this is what I had before, I believe. No, no, not this one, this one. These, these are what I had before, 84 inch. And these are the ones that I had to cut. And so, oh, they have 63 inch, ooh. These, these are like the cheaper ones. So I might try this. I think I might try this actually. Blocks 98% of the sunlight. Yeah, I think I'll try these. All right, we are done. So I have taken the curtains out of the package. I did end up getting two because they're only 48 inches wide. So that's fine. I probably need them anyway for the extra space. Like if you see back here, sometimes if you want to uh, close up the, you know, if there's light coming through or anything like that. 
So I got two panels because this is about 54 or 55 inches wide and those are only 42. So yeah, it's uh, does better that way. And I will show you right now what it looks like. So I'll try to get a, a better look at it, right now the it's raining outside really badly so uh, yeah the lighting is kind of bad so sorry about that but uh, yeah you'll get a, a better look it, it actually goes pretty well it, it, uh, it matches the canvas look of my mat so I like that and hopefully they will serve me well we'll see and I may have to hand them again I'll, I'll try to do it properly this time instead of just hacking them with uh, scissors that aren't meant for it. So yeah, if you like them, give, a, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments what you would do differently. I am always open for suggestions, as you know. And stay tuned to the end because I have a very, very fun announcement. At least it's fun for me and hopefully you will like it too. Uh, so I will see you in a little bit. So the thing that I wanted to share with you is that I am thinking of having a Patreon page and it is more for those of you who maybe want a little bit extra. I, there's a lot of questions, a lot of comments, which I am so grateful for the interaction of everybody. I'm at 10,000 subscribers and uh, I couldn't do it without you subscribing, so thank you so much for subscribing. I try to keep up with the comments. It's gonna probably get a little bit more difficult as things go on, but for that reason, I thought if I had a Patreon account, it would really be for those of you who are wanting a little bit more in-depth uh, contact or interaction or extra bonus videos that I won't do and put out on YouTube, but I'll be able to kind of just slide in there for those of you who are really wanting that information. Carol from Glorious Life on Wheels and I were talking the other day and I agree with her. She was saying that she really doesn't want there to be a hindrance or payment or anything like that, but they do make you have some minimum requirements. So what I saw also Chrome from Van City Van Life do, which I loved the idea, is that no matter what tier, they, they call them tiers in, in Patreon, no matter what tier you choose, you get the same benefits. Really, if I could offer it for free, I would. So I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what I am working on now. Um, I am here with my computer and I don't know if you can see it, but I am creating my page for Patreon. So that's what it's going to look like. A little sneak preview for you there. And guess what you're going to be called if you choose to do so. You're going to be called Tiny Red Van Fans. How do you like that? And so I have my son-in-law create. So here are the different tiers and this, I don't know if you can see it, but they have you set up different tier levels. I'll, I'll kind of have the details of what you get for that. I'll probably be having some stickers and merchandise and stuff for little ladybugs out and tiny red van fans. And that will, again, be available on each level. If you want to and can give more for some reason and you want to support me that way, that'd be awesome. I welcome that. But really, uh, with the minimum that they require, I will set that up and hop on over if you want to no requirement of all. I'll still continue to do my content on YouTube and that at every week there there'll be a, a video coming out with that but then I'll try to do some extra stuff on Patreon and so that should be fun and that will allow me as well to get to know you a little bit more. I, I know with YouTube I again I I actually start recognizing all your names as you come on and you leave your comments and you guys are really great <sighs> Again, it almost makes you cry every time I think of it because it's like you are so, I, I never planned on doing this. So it's, it's, um, it's very humbling to me. I want to give a few shout outs here, all the, the people from, I, I mean, once you start following one of them, you, they're kind of a community and, and I love it that they are all just, they support one another, they give each other shout outs, but obviously Gloria Life on Wheels, I always give, uh, she's, 
she has a special place in my heart. Uh, Van Life with Gina, uh, Johnny's Journey always, Van Life Rocks, Mobang for Your Bucks, California Travel Videos, Meant to Be Our, Vid Our Being, Ava Potterfield and Friends, Redheaded Riding Hood, and Burning Up the Roads, 30 and a Wake Up, FNA Van Life, and uh, yeah, so, so many others that have been really good to me and I just wanted to give you a little shout out here. I know it's not much, uh, but it's what I can do and uh, go check them out. I'll try to leave all the links uh, somewhere on my description. And really that's about a wrap for this video. I know I didn't show too much, but I wanted to answer uh, some of the things that I have never really covered in other videos up to date. And I, upcoming will be my adventures out in Utah at VanFest. I know it's, uh, there's been a lot of people already posting about all of that. I'm a little behind the times, but that'll be coming up. And then, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So thanks for watching and mwah. I love you guys. And I am really glad that you stopped by to watch and I will see you in the next video.